Good morning, I'm Laszlo. What time is it? It is 7.42 a.m. And it's breakfast time. Oh, we made very good breakfast. Is that plate mine? No, that plate is all yours over there. Oh. Karlovo náměstí. Přestup na metro. Příští zastávka Malostronské náměstí. today <laughs> and uh, mm, it says that uh, one king Charles the fourth who was uh, Charles the sixth who was the um, who was the father of Maria Theresia of Habsburg family uh, wanted to shoot deer from the windows over there 
and he complained that the deer is too deep, he couldn't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Professors. The history of this area started in 883 when the first prince of Slavic tribe, Genesis, uh, called Bolshevoy, uh, adopted Christianity from the hands of Saint uh, Cyril and Metodius and spread the Christianity uh, all over uh, the country. And he moved his tribe, his Slavic pagan tribe, here and built the first stone church of St. Mary. So you can see the basement of the church from 883. Long, long, long time ago. <laughs> and he was buried here, so you can, you can read uh, the year of uh, building the, uh, the church, Prince Bukhiboy. Uh, and his wife was Lujinova, she was a grandmother of San Wenceslav. San Wenceslav is the main chef at Rome. Uh, okay, uh, we start our tour to enter the Krakas, the main gate. <laughs> There used to be a moat here, and the Baroque gate uh, that was built by Matthias, so you can read his name, Matthias, Roman Empire, Rex of Bohemia and Hungary, yeah. Hungary. and then uh, the date of construction, which is the year with Roman uh, Let us, yeah. yeah. Can can you guess well, where it was? 1614. It was built. That's yeah. You, <laughs> you get a cookie. <laughs> That's the first baroque uh, baroque um, gate uh, in Prague. And over the moat there is drawing bridge. Yeah. And this uh, nice ceremonial uh, courtyard was created uh, in 18th century. Uh, during the reign of Maria Theresia, she wanted to have a very nice uh, residence, uh, probably the same like Hofburg in Vienna. Uh, she hired uh, an Italian architect and he uh, reconstructed uh, the medieval castle with lots of medieval building into uh, this appearance uh, where uh, the building facades has uh, the same uh, level uh, of floor, the same windows, the same facade, and uh, created this ceremonial uh, courtyard uh, instead of uh, the medieval mode. Yeah? Uh, as you uh, look around, uh, also uh, the facades uh, of the building are the same, uh, but in uh, medieval time uh, the uh, royal residential uh, houses were here and the stables for horses were there. Uh, and when 
Rudolf II, I have to mention Rudolf II of Habsburg family. Uh, he was not only Czech king, but he was also the Holy Roman Emperor. And he uh, settled in Prague in 1583 because he was quite fed up with his Habsburg family in Vienna. Uh, he needed some uh, calm environment and he uh, was keen of, uh, keen of collecting lots of uh, arts and things like paintings, statues and uh, quite uh, very strange, uh, very strange uh, objects made of strange materials like uh, a cup from ostrich egg for instance or some uh, dishes from seashells yeah, uh, combined with gold and lots of things. He had a huge collection of these things and he uh, needed space, lots of space, some gallery. So he decided to build this corridor uh, that connected his royal residence and his gallery. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, he built the, the gallery on the first floor. Downstairs were stables where he uh, where he kept Spanish horses, and therefore the hall is called Spanish Hall. Uh, it's very decorative, lots of gold, lots of stucos, lots of statues, and then uh, he displayed uh, his collection there. And he could, uh, he was able to. Uh, to walk uh, to his uh, gallery even uh, when it was raining because uh, the corridor was at the roof. Yeah? So when Maria Theresia settled on the throne in 18th century, she uh, wanted to have a perfect uh, appearance here. Uh, so the architect uh, had to solve uh, lots of problems. For instance, uh, that part uh, wasn't uh, in the right in the right corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So therefore, he he had to build uh, the corridor, which is uh, two meters wide on the left side, and just 80 centimeters wide on the on the right side, mm -hmm. just to get. The right corner of the buildings, yeah. Okay, and some buildings had different level of floors, different different uh, shape of windows, so everything was uh, rebuilt in in this uh, nice appearance. Uh, so you can see the Baroque uh, fountain called Lion Fountain because you can see uh, the three lions uh, on the top holding the earth, yeah. And it's also called Leopold because we have what uh, L uh, show us that Leopold was uh, the king who built this uh, fountain. And uh, the well behind the fountain is from the Gothic, uh, Gothic period. And for Prague Castle area and especially for the coronation of Charles VI father of Maria Theresia and later on it was rebuilt into a chapel, a small chapel. And uh, as you can see uh, the, the now day entrance which is quite modern uh, and uh, this, this, this entrance uh, leads to uh, presidential offices. Okay? Oh. So the president and his staff is still here. So you can see the flag when the flag is up it means that the president is in Prague and so we are going inside the cathedral, yeah?